Main card. Middleweight fight. Caramel Thunderbird. Dirk Jammer. I do love Tupelo sometimes. Yeah, Tupelo, there's not really any stir clubs here, so I just find random bitches and I just yell awful things at them. Uh, meanwhile, Dirk Jammer in the pink. Caramel Thunderbird in the purple. It's a slight color difference, but uh, you should be able to tell who who's not so much in the skin. Right, and meanwhile, uh, Thunderbird would like to probably keep the standing. Jammer will be looking for the takedown, getting the submission. I believe his uh, his opening his debut fight, he defeated Kel Bishop by decision, but he had a lot of opportunities to finish that fight with submissions. And you'll see right now already goes right to mount immediately. Does Dirk Jammer? He's going to be working from a little bit of ground and pound there. Well, Thunderbird able to just kind of... Thunderbird is slightly bigger than Jammer. He's got a little bit more brute strength. Jammer's going to have to use his positioning and his angles to just end. He stands him up. That's probably smart from Thunderbird. Yeah, well, uh, Thunderbird, he has to work out, look good for his films. Jammer just fucks people all day. That is true. And that's not even including his work. Meanwhile, uh, Thunderbird again. Oh, he's getting a little closer. You gotta watch it. He might get caught with a heel hook. You know, Jammer would be very happy to let Caramel Thunderbird enter his guard. And oh, nice uppercut. Oh, Thunderbird drops Jammer. And again, you see, oh, Thunderbird decides to go in. And you see Thunderbird again. Good sprawling. Very good sprawling. He's very good at sprawling. Right there, he goes into. A triangle. This is what Jammer would like to see. It's not. Uh oh, lifting him up. Ah, ah, ah. Down in a Power very bomb. bomb like style. Power bomb. And Thunderbird, that is one way to break a triangle choke. We've seen something like that knock out a guy. I ever saw a fight in Japan where that is how it was finished, and the guy's head slammed against the canvas or the mat. And it uh, it knocked him out, and the fight was over. Cool story, bro. Yeah. And Thunderbird from mounted position. This is not a good place for Jammer. But again, he's he's very at, he's very equipped on the ground, so he might be able to just yeah, look at that. He just sweeps him over. He spends most of his time on the ground. Oh, there's a chick kneeling in front of him. Well, you know, when he's on his back, usually there's uh, someone a little bit lighter than like Caramel Thunderbird. Uh, Riding him, if you. Oh. He's been in the BBW stuff. Don't ask how I know that. How do you know? Well, HDL fights tonight. I guess uh, it's a reminder to everyone. Our three five-minute rounds. Our title fight main event is five five is five five-minute rounds. Uh, rounds are scored in a ten-point must scoring system. The winner of the round getting ten points. His opponent getting nine or less. Our judges tonight. Thanks again to Marcus Queensberry, Lavender Sandalbags, and Leonard Part Six Montgomery. I am so glad that graphic was coming up, so I didn't have to ask about the BBW stuff. Well, you just brought it up again, so... Oh, big hit there. Now, Thunderbird switching his stance once in a while, going from orthodox to southpaw. And from that stance, he's a, he, I think he's a natural southpaw. He's a lefty, and he's very adequate throwing strikes from both stances. Uh, you could uh, Dirk Jammer would say he goes both ways, if, if you asked him, but there we see. That is one heck of a way to get a bomb. Right? You feel most of that guard. Bring that combat, you get yourself. Slot! Are yes. you ready to fight? Are you ready? As a black guy gets us started. Round two. Come on, let's do it. Jammer versus Thunderbird. A very exciting first round, and Thunderbird already teeing off on the face. Jammer's got a little of a low guard there. His hands are not up by his face. He's, you can clearly see he's looking for a nice teep to the stomach. But he keeps coming in, and Thunderbird has that reach on him. Now you gotta imagine there's a lot of respect between these two fighters. I mean, they're both in the film industry. You, I'm sure they both know each other's work. So, so admiration, maybe a little bit of gamesmanship, a little bit of a rivalry. Not nothing heated. Gamesmanship. Gamesmanship. Oh, I need to get my mind out. We got her then. Well, I don't know how desperate times have been for uh, Dirk Jammer, but I hear the money is good when you do that kind of stuff, too. Yeah, you're for pain. That sure is. And again, I'd like to thank all of our sponsors uh, that you'll see adorning 
the gear, the shirts, the shorts, the hats of our fighters. Uh, like all of our all of our all of our sponsors for making HCL uh, what it, what you see coming through your television set. And of course, viewer. Both these guys are rape show sponsors, by the way. Yes. Uh, well, you know, one of our many many sponsors. Uh, some of them just kind of snatch up whoever they can get. Snatch up. They sure do. I know my word choice there, Randy. Oh, look at you being saucy tonight. Oh, you know, it's it's good to be home, good to be back in Tupelo. You know, a great night of fights. So, uh, I can even say I'm enjoying uh, sitting here with you for the moment, except for that whole wife thing. Yeah, three oh. minutes in. Oh. Oh. Going for a Kimura. Thunderbird may have gotten a little too overzealous. Jammer was kind of waiting, shifts his hip over to the side. He's still under his, I think he's in his half guard. It's not too th too tight. And just like that, Thunderbird able to slide out and get to mount. That's a really easy transition from him. And we get to see Thunderbird working from half guard. It's been surprisingly dominating on the ground. Jammer is just and out of his game, and another big oh. shot from out of position with just 20 seconds left on the clock in round two. Jammer might be scrambling just to try to get to the end of the round and regroup, get some new uh, strategy with his corner, and that will be it. He gets to the end of the round. Caramel Thunderbird so far dominating this one on the in the first two rounds. On the ground, standing. All you need to do is score. That's what if I was uh, a dark, I'd just stand there and knock me the fuck out. Might as well. That would mean that would mean losing though. They already lost. Oh, there's still another round. He could he could pull something out here in the third round. It's very possible to have to change his strategy. I don't think he has a fight in him. Well, as you see right here, a Kimura attempt by Dirk Jammer. Uh, that was followed up by this big shot that. Jammer again going on the defensive. Try to spin him around. Don't, don't you can see Jammer looking for that submission. He's waiting for the right moment. Maybe a little too cautious here. Stretch. And uh, are you ready to fight? Are you ready? As we see round three, our final on, round of this go. fight, middleweights, Dirk Jammer, Caramel Thunderbird. Thunderbird starts off really strong. A couple of nice hooks. On the left, both these fighters are southpaws, lefties. We've seen Thunderbird switch his stance once in a while, but he's he's naturally a southpaw. Head kick by Jammer. This is an interesting strategy. He decides to stand up. Maybe he said, okay, I'm getting dominated on the ground. Let me stay. Oh, goes right to the clinch. As I say it, big takedown by Jammer. Maybe that's what he was looking for. Ah. Mm. And we see Jammer. Jammer on top. He's not used to that. Well, he's he's getting he's staying a little busy a little busier now, a little bit more urgency from him. Goes for that, oh, man. He left himself wide open and Thunder oh, capitalizes with oh, a hook, oh, and it's oh, yeah, yeah. guy calls for the finish to this fight. That is it. Caramel Thunderbird wins in impressive fashion, and what happened was. Dirk Jammer went for that double leg takedown. He re he missed it, stood up, and was wide open. He dropped his hands, and you can see these punches. Thunderbird finishing a fight, getting an impressive win. And we're gonna see what the next what what's what's next for these two fighters. But Thunderbird impresses yet again. His only loss is to a guy we're gonna see fighting at our next show, the Goose. Ladies oh, yeah. and gentlemen. Referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute 33 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by TKO Savage. Caramel Thunderbird. Impressive fashion dominating that fight. Looks like a baby holding an apple.